So we're going to show you how to recover some Fuji negatives. Uh, these are actually shot on a real camera with a CNR 4x5, but you can also do this with a copy system and uh, any Polaroid camera that takes the Fuji pack film, FP100C. So the first thing we need to do is remove the excess portions of the negative. Get as much as you can off right now because it's going to sort of get in your way later. Now these negatives were shot uh, over a week ago, so they've completely dried and they were just reasonably protected from uh, dust and wind. It's about all I can get off of that. So we'll just take both of these off. If you can get the trap end off, uh, all the better. And now we're going to tape them into place on the piece of glass here. So I'm going to do two at a time. So the tape I'm using is actually a new painter's tape called Frog's Tape. It's great because it seals well like painter's tape, except it has a chemical bond so that when there's moisture, it actually bonds better and gives you a nice clean edge. So we're simply going to tape down all portions of the negative so that the emulsion is sealed against the glass. The idea being to remove the back coat and not get any bleach on the emulsion because that will certainly impact your image and leave gaps and holes. Which for some could be interesting, but we're going to try to do it clean. So now for our bleach, I'm actually going to be using a toilet bowl cleaner with bleach, uh, partly because it's more of a gelatinous material, a little bit safer to deal with, it doesn't splash and I'm pouring some into this metal bucket here. And I'm just going to get some of this material on a foam paintbrush and just start putting the bleach onto it. Immediately what starts to happen is the back coat starts to dissolve. In fact, we'll take a paper towel right now. and just rub off some of this material just to show you what is in fact coming off, almost like black ink. So you'll often need a couple of passes. And the nice part about the toilet bowl cleaner being a little bit thicker solution is it'll sit better on top of the, uh, the back coat. You don't have to put nearly as much on. And you can let it sit there a little bit better without fear of it sort of running off the edges. Start our second negative now. And the back coat is pretty robust, so you can be a little aggressive with the uh, the foam brush to try to remove some of the material a little bit more quickly. I have a second bucket with water in it. So I'm just going to take a wet brush now and just start to remove parts of the excess back coat. And given that these brushes are black, it's a little difficult to see when the solution is starting to clean off. So a paper towel will certainly give you a better indicator of what's happening. And you can see it's a much more faded black than before. So to me, that means that we've pretty much got most of the back coat off. I think I'm just going to do one quick little more, one more pass with the toilet bowl cleaner just to get a very thorough clearing of this back coat. Okay, and we'll just use a clean paper towel to be our final barometer, whether we've cleared off the negative or not. And it is virtually clear here now. Now you've noticed I'm not wearing rubber gloves. Uh, the main reason being that uh, 
I feel much more comfortable with these foam paintbrushes that I don't have to worry about. I'm not going to even touch any of the material myself, but uh, to be on the safe side, I would recommend you doing that. So now we want to just get our negative into the water. So you could rub your hand on the emulsion side and feel it a little bit slimy. And the longer the materials in the water, you'll see some of the extra the rails and the, uh, the trap end start to come off a little bit more easily. You, you would want most of this off uh, in the end. So eventually even those uh, sort of salty areas of the uh, the emulsion will eventually come off, and of course a thorough washing is, is always a good idea. If you have a, a real negative print washer, all the better, but if not, uh, you can just run this under a kitchen sink or bathroom sink until, until you've cleared it. Now, if I hold this up, you can see we do have a cleared negative. And then after about a 10 minute washing or so, uh, we hang the negatives up to dry, and then we'll move on to scanning.